Ajube, Swift Part 2 Free Hair, uh, Part 3 of this Let's Play of Skyward Sword. And currently we're just about to do the third cutscene. So I hope you enjoy it. You know, Bruce, that sure was a pain. What with all that scratching and pecking? Of course it was. You thought a big cursed loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight. But we got him, and I don't care how tough these birds are supposed to be. It's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. I'm actually from now on gonna call Bruce Shem 126. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Huh? Stuff like uh, uh, yeah. Just how long have you been standing there? Longer than enough, Sam. Longer than enough. So what's your problem anyway? Look, wait, I got it. You were here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those filthy eyes of yours. Any minute, Shem 126. They're feeling. Oh, Shem can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please! Okay, yeah, that just sounds a bit raw. <laughs> okay, you're just des desperate to win, so you can get some of their time yourself up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Damn, foiled again! <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Bruce doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. I'm second and move back, fool. Say, hey, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red fe feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by one of the clouds? I got lost. And got lost? Um, I'm actually going to say nice hair. <laughs> you lay off my right do. I do, right? Well, I'll flatter you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour <laughs> in the town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. We've been friends since you were a kid. Big deal. It didn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Wait a minute, Shamp and Dura said. I've got my head in the clouds. We've all got our heads in the clouds. We live in the clouds. Get your facts straight. Folks like you are dragging our honor academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Chevron 206? Oh. 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 Don't even try it. You're picking on Stiffer again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bringing him around so much? Oh, I love to laugh. <laughs> She's so cool. Yeah, I suppose. You suppose. Suppose what? <laughs> Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Stifler. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird, or get real. Used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavour. Who are you to talk about flavour? Ah, 
bloody hell going, I'm just going to call him Bruce. But I'm going to class him as Stifler anyway. Stifler? Shenmue 206, sorry. I'm going to class him as Shenmue 206, but I'm going to keep calling him Bruce. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your loft wing's disappearance. Oh no. Stifler, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Whoever said he took to instruct a robot about delaying the start of the ring, ring ceremony. So don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. Oh, that was so awesome. Just looking for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not an actual cutscene, so. Basically, what they basically going to tell me is Bruce and his gang have been picking on Fledge, and Fledge overheard them, made a plan of actually taking my loft wing away and then um, putting it in a cage. And they find out that Fledge overheard them and he threatened him if he said anything. He won't be ever become a knight, so yeah, that's why Fledge stayed quiet. That's where he is. Press the plus button to bring on your map. Actual visual Zelda one. So, yeah. And don't need to talk to him. Just come straight here. Slice. Slice. Skip my one. Slice. Slice. Yeah. 
He talks to you, teaches you the spin attack. Do you want to win okay? Basically, to do the spin attack, you move them, we remember, and that track at the exact same time, in the same way. So, you don't do it that way, which way you swing them, or that way, left or right. Quick motion, do the spin. Fatal blow, pretty awesome move. Basically, third target, slice, move both wing low and nunchuck downwards quickly at the same time. And she's told us about the shield bash, which we can't do because we haven't got a shield yet. Basically saying we can't go outside with the sword, but we've gone over and explained our situation. Like we have to go and save our soft wing, so he's letting it slide for once. So now we have a sword with us, which is pretty cool. We can start kicking ass like a hero. Brings out a Sheikah Storm. Gives you hints on what you gotta do if you ever get stuck. If you ever need a hint or a tip what to do, if you get like, really stuck, just try and find one of these. I'm gonna tell you. Well, give you a little hint. He's going to speak to me again, so why don't we just do this now? And he goes off and chases the sky stack beetle. And we get the rupee. Okay, now he shouldn't say that to me anymore. And up here. We can sense our loft wing. He's in distress. Let's go and save her. <laughs> just entered waterfall and you're gonna have to cut this video here hope you enjoyed this part three and look forward to seeing part four very very soon this is definitely 523 signing out Laters.